Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first episode of the Delusionally Confident Podcast. You already know, for the first episode, I'm bringing in Martin Borgmeier, the world long drive champion. Martin, how we doing? So far, so good. Yeah. You said welcome back. Yes, welcome back to the first to episode. To the first episode. Correct. Makes a lot of sense. So, you do you. Correct. Well, at, at the end of the day. My brand is I can do whatever the hell I want brand, and I can say whatever the hell I want, so I can say welcome back on the first episode. It makes a lot of sense. I like it. I'm feeling great. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. We had a great day oh, filming yeah. some golf. Oh, yeah. Every day filming content with you is incredible. Yeah, likewise. I mean, I, I feel like we clicked from the very beginning. I still remember when we had our first interaction on social media. Yes. The POD King was born. Was born. And it's still alive. Too much loft makes you soft. What did you feel when I like when I did that to you? I had so many people calling me out, to be honest, at that time. I was like blowing up, and I was scared of no one. <laughs> when I saw you come into that camera frame on my phone, I pissed myself. I smacked that butter too, dude. You it smoked it, and you were, you were scary. Shot. I'm scary, but you were scary, Martin. Boy, and then you I. met me in person, and it's yes. actually not that bad. You're like it? a little brother to me, man. You're awesome. You're phenomenal. So, Martin, we're here in Panama City Beach. Yeah, it's My beautiful. team and I are getting ready to drive cross country to Arizona. You and I are hitting the box at the Desert Open. Yeah. On national TV as partners. Yeah. And I figured what better way to start my podcast than with you right here, right now. What are your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions like going into this event? Yeah, it's going to be a big event. And um, when GM Golf reached out to me, I actually struck the ball well. So it was a, it was a time when I did very well on the golf course. Mm -hmm. I just had my match coming out with FP. Okay. A VA native. VA native. Shout out to VA. Right. 757. And I actually played pretty well. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm down. I don't think I ever struck the ball worse than I did today and yesterday. But I can attest. I have you on my team. Yes. And also, just like we did today, it's not about how we play because we already won. And then yes. we're going to win. Yes. That's what it's about. It's one thing I learned from you. You got to feel like you already won and it's going to happen. The outcome does not matter. The results are inevitable. Martin Borgmeier, you are speaking truth, science, and facts of law right now. When you can see it in your head, it turns into reality, okay? This is something that's happening. Everybody across YouTube, across the country, across all continents, they're all doubting us. They put us to finish in last place. There is multiple podcasts and YouTube videos saying you and I are finishing in dead last. Oh, really? We are Who the, said that? Everybody. Who said that? Every single person. ESPN, Nate Edwardson. Oh, my God. Busted Jack, the Brian Bros. Everybody's saying Michael they Block's going to win. Michael Block's a great player. Play with him. Great dude. I feel like great the Brian Bros player. are going to win. And then they, everybody's saying the... the uh, no, we're going to win. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. We're going to win. Martin Borgmeier. Everybody's saying win. the Brian Bros are going to win. Everybody's saying, you know, all these people. They're doubting us. They say Martin Borgmeier, he's only good for the power off the box. The DOD King, all I can do is hit driver. They say you don't have any soft mitts. They say I can't putt. They don't know we've been training. You know what I believe people think? Because it's such a short course and we can't really hit driver. Yes. That our advantage is like off the table and we don't have soft mitts. But in multiple videos, yes, we have already proven ourselves with that. Beyond. So we're just going to do it again. I got a question for you. Yes, I'm here. So you're calling this, so the name of this podcast is Delusionally Confident. Yes. Right? So now I'm German. Yep. So I don't really know what that means. So okay. how would you define delusional? Delusional. And then delusionally confident, delusionally like the combination of it. So the thing about me, the DOD king, Carter V. Smith. I can say what, what does I want. V stand for? Vinkir. It's Czechoslovakia. I don't even think Vinkier. it's a country anymore. It's my family name. Here's the thing about me is I can say what I want and I can define things the way I want and then they become facts. Were you always that way? The thing is I've always been this way. You can ask any of my friends, any of my team that's here. I have always, before even all the social media, I've always spoken with conviction about my future. Even when everything around you 
says you can't do something. Everyone around you tells you you can't do something. So was that only in golf or also like when you were doing your tiling? This is with anything in life, okay? This was before that. When I was tiling bathrooms back in the day, the whole time I was just working on my mitts. Every day I'd show up to work, I was getting on that wet saw 7 a.m. I was just practicing my hand-eye coordination. I couldn't practice <laughs> golf. And so that at the time, no, and I'm serious, at the time, that's when I was practicing my hand-eye coordination. That's how I developed my soft mitts because now when I'm about to go hit a shot, Right off the ground, I don't care where it goes. I have more hand-eye coordination than anybody in the game because of that. But constant, constant visualization and repetition, even if it has nothing to do with golf. So the thing about delusionally confident doesn't just apply to golf. It applies to life. Anything you want to do, any craft that you want to master, when everything around you and everyone around you tells you you cannot do what you are saying. Your, your dream is so, so big that people think that you're an idiot, that you're stupid, that you're, may I say, delusional but you believe in yourself and you can see yourself in the shoes that you want to be in in the future you can already live that life even though it hasn't happened to you that is being delusionally confident and there's great power in that when everything around you says you can't do something but you continuously pursue your dream there's great power in that And when it comes into fruition it is a beautiful thing and a high that you cannot get from anything else i did not expect this talk to become so deep i didn't expect to be laying in bed with you time yeah uh well i fit no i i never expected that actually this is the first episode i mean what a way to start it it really feels great it It feels feels right so next question yes like i'm taking over here i'm I'm doing the cues now you're doing the a's got it so have you ever hit a driver of a tile because that, I mean, it's still off the deck, isn't it? Correct. So you can kind of bring both, like the best of both worlds together. And Interesting. Is that a good idea? Dude, I mean, that, that is a that, phenomenal that, idea. That might be a great piece of content. Dude, that has to be done soon. So you could actually use, why don't you bring a tile to Arizona? I think we can make that it, happen. Use it as a t that's not a t i mean it's a driver it's a dot but it's a driver of a tile i can get behind that i can really get behind that you should try that no yeah dot driver off tile inbound i love it inbound that's beautiful so martin borgmeyer people we i think we first met in august of this past year i've been doing content for almost a year now give or take about a year i think we met in august right away for me at the time that video went viral when we played together. People love us on the screen. Why do you think that is? I've never even thought about it. I just kind of cuz so I enjoy, the, you know, just golfing with you. Still. Yeah, the few things I like about you is one, you're talking shit. Yes. Two, you back it up. Yes. Three, you're missing a few teeth. Six. And four, you don't give a shit about it. Nothing. And that's so great about you because you can just go out and you enjoy the part of golf that I enjoy the most yes. because I'm not a big fan of competitive golf because I had enough of it when I was young. Right. I love competitive long drive, long drive, but I yes. do not Champion. like competitive golf because it's the flow is so different about it. Right. You yes. have to be focused for four, four and a half hours over four days. Right. And that's very rough. Long drive is different. It's quicker. You have to focus for two and a half minutes and that set is over, right? When you do that in golf, you're like, that round is pretty much gone. Done. Right? You lose that focus, you, you're you, out. You make one big mistake, you lose that one ball, you hit it in the water over there, the round is over, the tournament might be over. Yeah. In long drive, that's different. Right. And with you, when you're creating, you embrace the penalty strokes. Yes. You just don't give a shit. Never. And that's what I like about you. And that's that's I feel like that's why we click because that's the part of golf that I love. You know what? That was that was beautiful. That was really beautiful, Martin. I and you know what? That's you, you nailed it right on the head. When we when we go out there, we are fully enjoying the experience of golf. And something I want to dive into from there with the world long drive. Six shots. Full of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. You go out there, you can scream, you want your energy high, you can go mash that golf ball, fire at it, and then your set's over, you can wait until the Mm -hmm. next one. From the outside, people who don't know much about World Long Drive, first off, Martin Borgmeier is the champion. Okay. 2022. 2022, he's also going to be champion in 2024. 2026. And six, we're not doing 28 because of the rollback. Skipping that. And 30 maybe again because I got used to the new golf ball. Got it. And the thing about... I think that a lot of people don't know about World Long Drive is that it is 
serious competition and preparation leading up to these things. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a flow throughout the year, right? So we're starting in May this year with the first proper tournament. And it's it's a ramp up phase of a couple weeks. Then you try to add to that with even more speed ramping up towards the world championship in August. So it's almost like you ramp up for the first tournament then you you try a few things in competition you you i mean eventually you got to hit the ball straight too but then you ramp it up even more towards the world championship and then it's dying off again right so i i just love the flow of that right because it's a very condensed season especially this year yes and in golf it's like you're traveling so much when you're playing a full round of golf when uh, like the full season of golf when you're a pro is just so different it's very drawn it's, out it, it it very much is and it's i mean a lot of people love that and i mean i don't blame them but it would not be right for me right Honestly, that's that's a very interesting way to look at that. And I think I like that as well. When it's, here's your season in this section. Yeah. Prepare all year for this so you're at your best for these. And it's it's not an extended, drawn-out season across yeah. nine months. I Dude, like if, if long like drive would be like a an 11-month season, I, I wouldn't play it. Right. It would just be too much. Right now it's really focused. And for the rest of the time, we can just focus on content. And that's that's what I love about it. Others, like other long drivers are doing other stuff, right? Some do club fitting, some do coaching, fitness stuff, whatever it might be. There's always room to monetize what we do. Yes. Right? But I found my, well, passion. Yes. In content creation. And that's yes. that's so beautiful about this. And that's how we met as well. So mm -hmm. what's what's your plan for, for this podcast? Hey, I'm in bed with you right now. Yes. And I don't really know what where this is going. Do right. you know where this is going? And and before I touch on that, just I wanna say my respect that you know, you do do the content creation for your monetization. You absolutely kill the game. Nothing I'm but trying, respect man. To you, it's just so much it. fun. I love yes. it right now. Dude, you do a it's phenomenal awesome. job. You bring in great great guests. And man, all your videos are phenomenal. You're the only content creator I really watch on YouTube. Respect. Um Damn. so so where do I see this podcast going? Simple question, simple answer. The moon. Oh damn. The moon. I'm gonna have guests <laughs> that you would not expect to see on the golf course and not expect to see in golf. That's what I've done on my YouTube. That's what I'll continue to do on this podcast. When I first jumped into the game with my man Stoney, we really had no idea where we were going with it, but we had an idea, and then we had our set course, and then the journey we just kind of allowed to flow and, and make decisions as we go, and I believe that's going to be the same way that we conquer the podcast game as well. Um, and at the end of the day, anything I do touches gold, turns into gold, touches gold, anything. You know what's so funny about this is – I have a feeling people don't really understand if this, like all of this, five foot seven, is just a character you play, or if that's actually you. Right, and you know that's something that and I, you know I get what? Asked a lot. It, and I tell all you guys out there, this is really what he is. This is a part of him, and what he's doing out there on course is actually what he is. So it's it's really interesting, like how you maneuver all of that, right? So I feel like this podcast is going to do pretty well. Man, I appreciate that. It, it definitely will. So and people, so structure wise, you should bring people on that are delusionally confident. Hell yes. And there's different. I feel like there's different types of people that are delusionally confident. And then eventually what the viewers see is someone with a dream, someone with a plan, and then they can follow these people and see how they do. They could be really interesting. By the way, not necessarily delusionally confident, but, hey, we filmed with this girl today, right? Yes. Alexa Melton. Superstar. I was like, I was so shocked because I had a really good feeling about her, right, in terms of content in terms of her golf game. Right. But what she brought to the table and what she did out there on course was like five times of what I expected. Dude, and honestly, it was, and I, it, was, it was insane. Obviously, her golf game is very good. But on top of that, when she told me that she had never done any and YouTube, YouTube, outrageous, dude. She, I mean, just off that video alone, she could create a brand that's bigger than – anybody i think dude she flicked the cameraman off on three dude she flicked like, me I mean, off on I mean, two i mean do that 
She was that, right the, out of the, the gate. The she was talking the, smack. The crazy, you know what the crazy part about her actually is? And I, I did a, I mean, I did a little bit of an analysis there, right? Yeah. So, and I figured most people when they go out, and especially girls that I filmed with, mm-hmm. are they they follow what the like what's happening, right? right. And that that's all great, but yes. they they never really initiate any shit talk. Yes. That girl, dude. My God, she was worse than the two of us combined. She today. was a savage, man. Like, it, and like you said, it's like most people they just fall into the line, which is fine. But she created out of the gate. My God, I and was. She had a tough it. group to deal with. Oh, dude, I the mean, hardest. the two of us plus Sam Judah. Characters. Like he's even worse. Yeah, it was a circus. And then her. And she just hopped into the fire and then set it on fire. If that makes sense. I don't know if she's necessarily delusionally confident, but she was confident. She, I don't know yes. if she's delusional. Yeah. I mean, she. Well, she didn't. She didn't. Like, she wasn't like. Hey, I'm gonna win a major next week. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. Like the, no, she she didn't like do all that stuff. She just rolled with it, and yes. she she was right there. It was impressive. It was honestly awesome. I I've never played against a girl. I've, I obviously have the, my DOD Queens series in the certification. A rigorous process. And I don't I don't think you could like actually get her. How how do you call it like? Certify? Certify. I, I don't think you could you could certify her. Well, here's the thing is like the three that are certified right now, none of them talk shit to me. But out of the okay. gates, I just met Alexa and she's calling me out. Mm-hmm. It was kind of baller. Mm-hmm. I respected it. Obviously, that's a rigorous program, so I don't even know if she's going to be allowed to apply, but we'll figure that out at so, another time. La- hey, hey, last topic. Yes. From Alexa to to this guy, the, the guy that's doing the, the pause at the top of the back. Ah, uh, the I, pause queen. I, I, I filmed with him the other day yes ben Cooper. yes nice kid really um yeah from my perspective interesting so what's the deal with him so why i i have the like I'm, I'm getting bad vibes right now so are what's going on between the two of you yeah i mean i hate to do it to a va native i represent my state so much in all of my videos so i yeah, hate to do it to a fellow native but unfortunately his time will come and he will be exposed for who he truly is, and that's just a country club rich boy. And let me transition that topic into something that's very, you know, you are walking into a war zone with me at the Desert Open. Oh, damn. All of my enemies are there, and I have never met any of them in person. Why do they all hate you? Dude, I don't know. I have no idea, man. At the end of the day, okay, like you said earlier, it's like people want to know if I'm like this in person or not. For me, it's just like the energy I'm around. Right now, I'm laying in bed with Martin Borgmar. I'm chill. Okay, I'm feeling myself. That's what she said. But at the end of the day, everything's cool here. Okay, we go into a war zone. I'm a different person. We go into competition. I'm a different person. I'm ready for war. Are you prepared to walk into there? We got Steven. We got Busted Jack, the Pause Queen. All of these guys hate me. They never seen me before. We might Pause have to roll in here be with there too. He's gonna be there. Oh wow! And I don't know. Like we might have to roll in with some bodyguards because Team North. They're pretty much like my bodyguards. They will throw hands. They have no etiquette whatsoever on the golf course, and they are not afraid to fight. And so if they get inside the ropes at that event, I I can't hold them back, and I can't tell them what to do. I have no control over them. So they might go right up to Busted Jack and just start swinging. And I'm I'm a little concerned with that, but at the end of the day, that would make good content, and it's all-out war when we enter the desert open. So as we're, as we're finishing up the first podcast. I'm here, ready to go to war with you, man. Thank you, brother. And, man. dude, I, this, honestly, when you called me up and you said, hey, and you explained the situation, Desert Open, Feb 7, a fire lit under my belly. It's been months since true competition for me, and I am excited, enthusiastic, and fired up to go to war with you. The Desert Open, Arizona, February 7th, Martin Borgmeyer, DOD King, first place. Martin Borgmeyer, DOD King, Second place. Martin Borgmeyer, DOD King, fourth place as well. We'll give third place to Michael Block. Shout out to Michael Block. At the end of the day, on Peacock, when we are lifting that crown and that trophy as champions, the world will know who we are, Martin Borgmeyer. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming on today. You're like a little brother to me. I'm excited for our future together, ladies and gentlemen. This was the first episode of the Delusionally Confident Podcast. I hope you have a blessed day and a delusional life.
ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening and watching the very first episode of the Delusionally Confident Podcast. I'm excited for this. I have three things to tell you guys, and then we'll let you get on your way living your delusionally confident life. All right, first and foremost, thank you so much for the continued support, watching, liking, commenting, and sharing all of my content with your friends. This is what keeps the planet spinning and our jobs growing. We are heading to the moon. Thank you guys so much. I'm a man of the people, and I appreciate you guys every single day. Number two, the link in the description will be to the Delusionally Confident channel. That is where every single podcast will be posted from here on out on YouTube. Go smash, subscribe, and share it with your friends, especially, ladies, your group chats. Okay, we have 1.2% demographic of females this year. We're changing that up. This year, we are balancing the scales. Send it in those group chats. Number third, the most important, for those who follow me, on the other platforms, Instagram, TikTok. You guys know I'm being shadow banned. I now have requirements and limits on how much I can post, comment, like, go live. It's outrageous. They're trying to stop me. Big T, Big Pharma. You see the chemtrails on all my videos. They're after me. So in the description, the link to my tangled.com account will be there. All the podcasts will be posted there. All my content will be posted there. I can't be canceled there, okay? We're going to grow that. I want you guys to go make an account and smash that follow and share with your friends. We're bringing that account to 100 thousand followers by the end of this year tangle.com go hit that link ladies and gentlemen thank you dod king